Raw emotion mixed with raw character. Welcome into sports, everyone. You can see the emotion through the face right there for Brawley football standout Mackay Washington. After years of dedication and putting his nose down into the work, it all came to fruition earlier this morning in a moment of clarity for the Brawley junior who got to celebrate moving on to the next level. In front of a packed crowd of family, friends, coaches, and the Brawley students, Washington put pen to paper to solidify a future on the football field, signing with Ottawa University in Arizona. Washington was praised for his work ethic through the years by his coaches and athletic director, Brilly Brewer. By the end of his senior season, Mackay was one of the premier players for the Wildcats as the team's number one receiver and lockdown defensive back, leading him to being named first team offense and defense in the Imperial Valley League. Over the last two seasons, he totaled 923 receiving yards along with 11 touchdowns to his name. And on the defensive side, it was highlighted by two big interceptions in the Bell game. Now moving into the next step of his life, Mackay and his father reflect on this moment and what comes next. I just try not to cry. I just try to keep myself under control, but there's too much emotion. It's always waking up early. After school, going straight to practice, going home, show, uh, shower, eat, sleep, and then the next morning it's just a repeat. It's a repeat from since I was five to all the way to now. Like a dream now. So like it's just the next step from here on out. I think that's when it hit me. It's like, wow, you know, like we are at this moment, at that point that we've been working so hard for. I, hopefully the next steps are just as rewarding as the steps that we just went through. So. As of now, Mackay has not decided on what he wants to study, but what he does know is he's going to keep working on his way to his dream of the NFL. We wish him nothing but the best. Across state lines to San Luis, Arizona, Sidewinders Baseball having a blast with the Gila Ridge Hawks in town wearing their Mexico national team baseball uniforms. That is really cool there. Jared Borgeno on the hill for San Luis, and he'd run into a little jam here in the third, holding on to a 3-0 lead, but this is why we play defense. Elijah Jan takes a hack, slices into the left, coming in to make that diving grab to save a run is Javier Rochin. That's our web gem of the day, and it keeps Gila Ridge off the board to the bottom half. It's Alejandro Venegas with a runner threatening and scoring position, but it's popped straight up and Aiden Schmigdal doing it himself off the mound to put an end to the inning. Still 3-0. Sidewinders, now it's Schmigdal at the dish and he pokes it up the middle, but Bergenio snags it. The little toss to first to end the top half of the fifth. So we go to the bottom half. Continuing a good day is Rochin ripping a base hit into right center. The ball slips away, allowing him to roll into second. The baton gets handed off to Juan Pablo Chavez right here and he delivers. Punches a base hit through the left side. Rochin comes chugging in around third, sliding in safely to home to push the lead to four. Chavez will end up at third. The Sidewinders tack on a couple more and Borgenio polishes it off on the mound with six shutout innings. Sidewinders win this one by a score of six to nothing. Over to Gila Ridge High School for the softball version of that matchup. Sidewinders making the trip up north to take on the Hawks in the 6A Desert Southwest matchup. Starting in the bottom of the third. Hawks up by one. Liliana Price up to bat. And the price is right. She sends this one out to the wall. Hawks get the frame started with a leadoff double. Next batter, it's going to be Clarissa Raider putting this out towards the center field wall. So with that, the runner from second will score back-to-back -back doubles for the Hawks. They double their lead to make it 2 nothing. Later on, runner on first with two away. Hawks up 3 nothing now. The Sidewinders, Alina Algulo, Angulo, excuse me, makes the pitch. Gila Ridge's Taylor Reishman sends that out to left, but San Luis's Maeli Faustro there to stop the bleeding. On to the top of the fourth. Angulo at the plate now for San Luis with one away. She decides to lay down a bunt. The throw to first sails into right field. Angulo is going to round the base over to second. It's a little league double for her off the E2. Eventually, though, simply too much firepower from the Hawks. They end up scoring eight runs in the bottom of the fourth to pull away in this one, and that would be your final score. Hawks are in win number nine on the season. Again, your final score, 11-0. That's all the time we have for sports.